live from Pix Plaza on 42nd Street. It's the Pix 11 News at 6. A New Jersey woman who served nearly a decade as an Army medic never had the chance to own a home until now. Yeah, it's all thanks to Morris Habitat for Humanity. Jim Vassell has the emotional story from Perth Amboy. And the home of the brave. We're just looking forward to it, making memories in our new home and growing old and celebrating with family and friends. Mel Curie's Moquette has accomplished so much in her nine years as a medic in the Army. Soon she'll be able to check off one more accomplishment, owning a home. I imagine us cooking and gathering just as we did with my grandmother. Something that means everything to her. Every year for the holidays, we would gather at my grandmother's house, you know, Thanksgiving especially. Morris Habitat for Humanity helps build affordable new homes for income eligible families. And during Veterans Build Week, a national initiative to provide housing for vets, Moquette and family will be building a place of their own in Perth Amboy. It's a hand up, not a hand out. They have to help build their own home and do counseling. But it is an opportunity for them to have an affordable mortgage, to own their own home, to have a piece of the American dream. Local and state dignitaries signed the beams of the home, sharing their well wishes. Officials say more than one and a half million veterans spend at least half their income on rent or their mortgage, showing a need for more affordable housing for vets. Moquette currently rents a home in the city, and owning a home seemed like a distant goal. Now, all that stands between them and that goal is 400 hours of sweat equity. Even if we have grandkids, we could say, you know, to them, look, this house was built with our own hands. A home is more than just four walls. It is a place where lifetime memories are created. And if all goes according to plan, Moquette and her family will be making holiday dinner memories inside their new home next holiday season. In Perth Amboy, Jim Vassell, Pix 11 News.